Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Three. We are going to start Unit Five. Its title is Making Peace. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children. Today, under the title of grammar, we are going to learn about irregular noun. Before this, in English for Grade Two, I have taught you about singular naming word. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to recall changing number of simple naming words by adding and removing s and es. Change the number of irregular nouns. Recognize and apply spelling change in plural form of noun. These are our today's SLOs. Let's start with the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Al Isra, verse seventy, and we have certainly honored the children of Adam. Yes, my dear children, what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is talking about? Whom Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is talking about? Children of Adam, and who are children of Adam? We all, Alhamdulillah. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is talking about human being. Allah has honored human being. How? Because Allah has given us as many different skills which many creature don't have. We can speak, we can think, we can follow Allah's commands. Alhamdulillah, right? And my dear children, now look at this word, children. Children means more than one, and if it's one, then we use child, and children are many. So this is how we can a singular and plural, and we know children is plural noun, and we will learn many plural nouns today. Okay, so first you tell me what are naming words, and how do we change number of a noun? Usually, how do we? Uh, Change a number. You have learned it. So pause the video. Answer these two questions to your teacher, and then come back. Yes, my dear children. I hope you could recall that everything around us, which we can see, hold, feel, or touch, has a name, and that is called a noun. And noun is naming word. It may refer to a person, a place, or a thing. So. When this naming word refers to one person, place, or thing, it is called singular naming word. Singular naming word refers to one. It can be one person, one place, or one thing. But if there are more than one persons, more than one places, or more than one things, the name which you tell about them is plural. So while in writing you want to mention more than one persons, the noun, the naming word which you use should be plural. And when you are writing about one, it should be singular. This is how. This is why we need to learn about singular and plural nouns. Okay. So what we have learned so far, we usually change the number of a noun by adding or removing s or es at the end of the noun. As in here, elephant. When I say elephant, it refers to one elephant. And if I want to mention about more than one elephant, then I add s to this noun. It becomes plural, and it means more than one, right? If it's plural, we say elephant, and if it is singular, we say elephant, right? And there are few nouns we have learned it, which end on s. O Z S H C H X or double S to make their plural forms, we add E S at the end of the noun. For example, box because it's ending on X to make it plural means more than one. If it's one, we say box. But if it's more than one, instead of saying box, we write box and we add E S at the end. It becomes plural. Box one. It's a singular. Boxes more than one. It's plural, right? This is how from singular we 
converted into plural noun. Other example is sandwich because it is ending on ch. That's why we have added es and it becomes sandwiches. Right? Okay. So this is what we have learned and practiced so far. Now for the same concept, new thing which we are going to learn is about irregular noun. What does your book say about it? The nouns that are not made plural by adding s or es. This is what we have learned, but there are few nouns to convert it into their plural form. We will not add s or es. What we'll do in the end of are called irregular. So such type of nouns are called irregular. Which noun? For, for the nouns, when we want to convert from singular noun to plural, we don't add s or es. Then what do we do? We change the spelling. We change the spelling. For example, if it is one, we say child. But if it's more than one, we say children. And my dear children, for these irregular plural nouns, there are no rules. That's why we need to learn them. We have to practice them, right? Child, children. If it is one, we say mouse. And if it is more than one, we say mice. Now, you see, spellings are totally different. Mouse, one. Mice, more than one. So we need to learn it, right? Are you clear? So we are going to learn many irregular and regular nouns together through an activity and what the activity is all about. Your teacher will divide class into groups. Teacher will write singular and plural nouns on paper slips. Now teacher will distribute singular nouns to one group and will fold and place in a box or a basket the plural noun. Now students from group two will come one by one to pick a slip, open it, read it aloud and will join the student in the group one who have singular of the same noun, right? So in this way, teacher will mix up the regular and irregular nouns and children will learn all of them. Are you clear? So pause the video, enjoy this beautiful activity and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. Now, I hope you have learned many new irregular nouns. Okay, so let's practice it through your book. Here, uh, change the singular noun into plural form in your notebook. So all of these nouns are singular. You have to write their plural in your notebook. Pause the video, complete this question in your notebooks, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So it's time for your homework. You will write five irregular nouns. Now you are clear with the irregular nouns. So only five irregular nouns you will write with their plural form in your notebooks. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly give printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, these are the sentences. Two options are given. You have to select the correct option to complete the sentences. Be careful. There are few nouns which are just mentioned to confuse you. And you are smart. You will not be confused at all. Okay. So in this way, what we have learned, we recall the concept of number of naming words. We recall that by adding S or ES to singular naming words is converted into plural. We learned that we need to change the spellings to make a plural from a irregular nouns. So in this way, we achieved our SLOs to recall changing number of simple naming words by adding and removing S or ES, change the number of irregular nouns, and recognize and apply spelling change in plural form of noun. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.